On 29th of March, all scheduled surgeries at the Perrin Ia Teaching Hospital were suspended due to a shortage of medicines. Many other hospitals have also apparently suspended routine surgeries and have also reduced a large number of laboratory tests. Other state run hospitals were also reported to be running out of life saving medicines. On 8th of April, the Medical Council of Sri Lanka issued a warning that there would be a catastrophic number of deaths, which is likely to be in excess of the combined death toll of COVID 19 the 2004 tsunami and the civil war, unless a replenishment of supplies is made in a matter of weeks. Singapore Red Cross Society issued warning declaring Sri Lanka's medical crisis as an unprecedented humanitarian crisis. By 10th of April, hospitals had begun to run out of endotracheal tubes for the ventilation of newborn babies, infants and children. Doctors requested that overseas Sri Lankan communities provide neonatal ETTs of sizes 4 mm, 3.5 mm, 3 mm, 2.5 mm, and 2 mm. The Sri Lanka Medical Association said that all hospitals in the country no longer had access to imported medical tools and vital drugs. Hospitals were pushed to the extent that they decided to sterilize and reuse endotracheal tubes to deliver oxygen to the lungs of newborn babies. Doctors are reported to have been forced to reuse old and used medical equipment to treat the patients due to the shortage of new equipment. Doctors are also reported to have performed medical surgeries by using the light of mobile phones. Doctors in rural areas have also been forced to stitch wounds in the dark due to rolling power cuts. The emergency drugs to treat heart attacks are also reported to be in short supply.